हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब एंड फेसबुक चैनल एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी बाय राना इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी ऑलरेडी डिड द अपग्रेड फॉर द कैटलिस्ट एंड सिस्को राउटर एंड इन टुडे सेशन गाइस वी आर गोइंग टू अपग्रेड द आईओएस फॉर द नेक्सिस स्विचेस एंड द स्विच व्हिच इज आई एम गोइंग टू अपग्रेड दिस इज अ स्टैंड अलोन स्विच कैटलिस्ट 93180YC-FX okay so let's start our lab for today and we will see how the upgrade will perform for the nexus the process is almost same as catalyst except there are some minor uh, changes or minor change in the command for the uh, verification of the ios before uploading uh, to the switch in the catalyst switches you just do the verification of the ios with md5 checksum but in the nexus you do the verification of the ios plus you will do uh, you will see the impact actually you will see the impact what is the impact before installing it on the nexus so uh, let's start our lab for today this is my nexus switch and uh, the my ios version is currently nexus 921 okay one thing in the next is you have to be careful that if you have a very old version of the ios you cannot go directly to the latest ios version so there is intermediate upgrade as well so for this one you have to check with the cisco or the ios uh, firmware release notes that which upgrade version you will go first for me if i go uh, from 9 to uh, from version 9.2 to some latest version like the latest version is uh, 10 to 4 m i cannot go directly to this firmware okay for this one i consulted with cisco uh, release notes and i found that i have to go first 938 so my first upgrade will be 938 and then i will go with the latest upgrade which is 10 to 4 m okay so this you have to be careful during the upgrade so i already up uh, downloaded the ios for 938 and the release for this one is 5 august 2021 with this md checksum which will do the verification that the integrity of the ios is not compromised okay so uh, the first command i will do it i already uh, plug the usb but let me show you once i will plug what will happen let me show you so as soon as i connect the usb flash drive on my nexus switch it immediately show me the usb as one okay so i will do it dir usb one i found that i have the ios available okay so the next command i will copy this ios from my usb to my nexus flash okay the command is copy usb 1 then boot flash okay it asks for the file name i will do one thing i have to copy this file 938 so i'll just copy from here paste it here the process is started
So now I have copied the IOs to the boot flash. Now the next thing I will uh, make sure that my image is transferred to the boot flash of the switch. For this one, I will give command dr boot flash. And I can see I have this file copied in my boot flash. So after copying uh, the image to the switch, the most important and uh, uh, the important step is to verify the checksum of the image, which should match with the checksum value provided by the Cisco website. Okay, the checksum value I will show you here. Okay, this is the checksum value, MD5 checksum value, okay? I will make sure that there is uh, no compromise on the integrity of the IOS and it is copied in the same order which I downloaded. So for this one, I will give command here. Show file, boot flash, the name of the file, then MD5 checksum, simple. Okay, so this is my checksum value started with C CD and with 48. I will match this one. Okay, it started with PD21 and ending with 48. Okay, so it means there is uh, no uh, compromise of the IOS integrity during the copy from the basically from download from the website to my PC, then from my PC, I copy to the flash drive. And then my flash drive, I copy to the uh, my switch boot flash. So there are three different phases for from downloading to copy to the my switch. So during this whole process, there is no compromise with the integrity of the I/O. So this is a very satisfactory. So the next step is, which is a different from the catalyst side, that before. Uh, installing after verification of MD5 checksum and before installing the image, I will make sure that there is no bad impact on the switch. Okay, if I make this IOS active to my switch. Okay, so for this one, I will uh, check the impact. For this one, we have to uh, give the command to install. This is a different command from the catalyst side. Impact, Nexus, boot flash, and the IOS. This is my IOS image. Let's see. So now installer will perform impact only check. This is a very important command. Never do upgrade without checking the impact. Otherwise, Normally, Nexus are connected with your storage or with your high-end devices. So if it went down, uh, you will face a big trouble. So always do the verification. You see, it did the verify impact boot image, which is successful. Then it verify the image type, which is successful. It is preparing Nexus version info using impact which is successful. Uh, then it's checking the BIOS version impact, which is successful. So performing module support checks, it means if I upload the image from inactive to the active one, uh, there, is a, there is no issue, okay? So all is well. So compatibility check is also done. Second thing, it also checks that uh, uh, image will be upgraded according to the following table, like my Nexus uh, BIOS will be also upgraded during this process. And second thing, guys, uh, this uh, uh, the, to, to check the impact, there is one more advantage for checking the impact that if you're doing in a wrong upgrade type, for example, uh, your version is not compatible from one version to the another version. 
so it will also check this one that it is compatible to go into this version or you have to do the upgrade in some other version so this is why this command is very important it will check your all the things so now uh, i will do uh, the install the image on my switch from my boot flash to my active flash for this one i will give the command install all nexus boot flash and the file name i will copy from here this one. okay so this is our so uh, this is our very important command because now we are going to upload the image i'll make it enter once again it is doing again a compatibility check it's verifying the image boot flash from the boot variable which is uh, successful it is also did the image verification is done version is again it verified which is successful bios version it also said it is compatible so overall it is uh, fine and we will not face any issue it is performing module support checks because this is uh, there is no module in this switch in this series of the model it is a standalone switch so it immediately uh, perform module support check which is successful and it is doing some uh, other verification as well so now finally it asking me to uh, reload the switch okay so i will make it yes setting boot variable is uh, successful performing configuration copy is uh, successful and uh, refreshing impact flash and upgrade bios loader boot from now it's uh, going for this process so finally uh, it is done the upgrade of the bios and loader and boot rom so now it's uh, rebooting finally so guys finally it is loading 938 the new ios and i hope everything will be fine the process update process in the next is ios upgrade if it is a, it is a stand alone switch without the modules it is around 15 to 20 minutes but if there are modules in your uh, next switches then it will take a longer time because it will update the ios and uh, bios for each module one by one so if you have 10 modules so you can assume the timeline for each module for 15 to 15 minutes 
okay so it will be bit longer if you have uh, modular catalyst uh, sorry modular access switches but in a standalone the whole process is around 15 minutes so guys finally my upgrade is done successfully let me do the verification with the show version so my version is upgraded from 92 to 938 and bios is also upgraded so we have done our upgrade successfully now i'll check the environments which will provide me information about my hardware statistics that there is uh, no issue the power supply is everything fan because the ios upgrade will impact on the hardware as well uh, in the nexus so overall it is fine there is no issue so guys uh, this was our lab for today for the nexus upgrade which is uh, uh, i believe it is a critical and very important in the in the cisco uh, switch series so uh, thanks for watching this video and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and provide your positive feedback so uh, take care allah hafiz bye bye